According to Benjamin Franklin, when the well is dry, we learn the worth of water. However, many communities in Ghana have had to learn this the hard way as they are yet to enjoy access to portable water. One of such communities is Tomefa. Located in the Gasaut municipality, Tomefa is home to some 1,000 residents. With mud structures as settlement, the main occupation here is fishing, with few residents venturing into farming and livestock. But, just like most rural communities, Tomefa is bedeviled with lots of developmental challenges, the worst being lack of portable water for residents. This is the river Densu serving as a source of water for the over 1,000 residents here at Tomefa. I wish I could get closer for you to see what really goes on, but one of the don'ts of the river is for people who are done in black to get closer, hence the distance. Let's find out from the people of Tomefa how River Densu is being of help to them and why for over 50 years now, this community does not have even a tap to boast of. <laughs> We have never had water since we settled here. The river Densu is all we have. Residents have had to devise means of storing water, especially during the raining season, by making reservoirs for homes that can afford. Vivian Alode has been living in this community for almost 12 years and her children have suffered schistosomiasis, also known as bilharzia, a disease caused by parasitic flatworms called schistosomes, resulting in bloody stool or blood in the urine. <laughs> I have five children, all urinate blood, except the eldest. We sometimes age after swimming in the river. Most children also urinate blood, something I suffered when I was young. Marking World Water Day means little to these residents if government does not come to their aid by ending their water woes. We have received promises from politicians who come here to campaign, but they are yet to deliver on their promises. We are appealing to the government to get us a tap. But as the country also continues to battle with the COVID-19 pandemic, the frequent washing of hands with soap under running water, as recommended by the World Health Organization, obviously is a challenge for these communities. Chairman for the Coalition of NGOs in Water and Sanitation, Koniwas Yao Ata Ahin, is alarmed at the situation. If you go to any community and you ask the people what their priorities are, they most likely will mention access to safe water as a topmost priority. Unfortunately, they have not been served with this very essential I mean, commodity. You are in a COVID situation and you are drinking contaminated water, then you compound the problem. Water is not entirely available to all. Whether it's urban or whether it's rural, you have to match your investments with the increasing demands of uh, water resources. When I talk about the investments, you can imagine what we or what we need in order to develop our water resources to meet all competing uses. And that boils up to the issue of ensuring that we have money. It does not mean government has not done it. The United Nations fears that water scarcity could displace some 700 million people by 2030, with global water demand likely to rise by over 50% by 2040. The Sustainable Development Goal 6 on water is to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all by 2030. Dela Michelle, TV3 News, Accra.